what, what what do you suggest is like the easiest thing to do at first inside of the theme editor? Well, the first thing to do is probably look at the theme browser on the left there. Okay, that's what this guy is over here. Exactly. You'll see this uh, this tree list, um, which you can expand um, different categories, and you can see all of the colors, all of the bitmaps that are used by the Sonar user interface. Um, and you can drill down uh, these categories and find what you're looking for, hopefully without too much trouble. Although, you know, there is a lot to go through. So. Well, I think it's pretty it's pretty standard to understand. It looks like you just have these categories on the left and you can just go through them. And then all the images that are modifiable or can, can be modified, I should say, all exist within the center here. Right? That's right. And in fact, um, many of those uh, categories on the left correspond to views in the view menu in Sonar. Oh, if you I drop see. the view menu down in Sonar, you will see the same uh, views listed at the, at the top there uh, and in the menu. The first thing to change, uh, the simplest thing to do, is to customize colors. Uh, or Let's just go for a single color. That's about as okay. simple as it gets. So if you scroll to the top, that yep. you should see in there. Um, oh, no, you need to select on, let's select global at the top there. Got it. Um, and you'll see a bunch of colors there. Now, yeah. these are, uh, are global colors. These are colors that are used throughout the Sonar user interface. So they're not for any specific view. Um, you can see, oh, for I example, see. the toolbar background color at the top left there. Yeah. Uh, and by double clicking that, you can change that to any color you like. Oh, look at that. I change it to white or whatever. Yeah. Cool. As soon as you do that, you see on the right there, the the new theme color that you just chose as opposed to uh, directly underneath it the original theme color let's um uh maybe save the theme at this point and just take sure. a take a look at that so we'll save it we'll say change i'll just call it change toolbar exactly i'm thinking in my mind uh calling it what i changed it is probably the safest route to go that's it <laughs> and cool. you can fire up sonar either um by doing that yeah or there's actually a button in Theme Editor which will open it up for you as well. Oh, the open button that's giant in the center of the app. I see that, yep. <laughs> okay, cool. That's easy. And then from here, I'm assuming we go to the theme preferences, right? That's right. And you should Alrighty. see your new theme in that drop-down list now. There it is. There it is. Well, that's awesome. Okay, so I'll hit apply. Yep. And hit close. And there we go. We have one toolbar background color change there. Ah, there it is. It's white, and it's uh, hilariously it's hilariously white. <laughs> so to get back to the original theme, we go back into our preferences, and we just select. We go back to like tungsten or mercury, whichever one we wanted. Exactly. Hit apply, and then close, and that really just kind of un undoes the whole process. And okay, and if I'm getting this right. Um, this theme that we're saving, right? This 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 uh, portion of the theme editor, like this toolbar background that we just changed, mm. this is saved as a separate file. We're never actually uh, changing like the tungsten theme, and then we're stuck with that forever, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. That's a very important point. You shouldn't okay. be afraid to play around with theme editor, because the worst that can happen is you end up with a theme that's no good. <laughs> You can you switch go. back to tungsten or mercury anytime you like from the preferences dialog uh, in Sonar. So do what you want. You will never overwrite uh, or change the uh, factory mercury and tungsten themes. 